So first of all, we need to acknowledge the author of it, Simon Dodds again. <laughs> uh, and this really is a way of, of harnessing a group discussion and, and talking about difficult subjects. Um, and the whole philosophy behind this is feelings drive behaviour. If you can change the way people feel or acknowledge the way that they feel about something, uh, you can get buy-in for change, okay? So here we have on the uh, left-hand side of this line, we have the past and the present. And on the right-hand side, we have the future. On the top, we have the happy states. And on the bottom, the negative or sad states, okay? So what we're trying to do is we usually start with the niggles first. And instead of saying, um, we've missed five doses today, what we ask participants to say is how they feel about something and then say why they feel that way. So I would say I feel very uh, concerned for patients because um, five patients missed their doses today. Nobody can take that feeling away from you, okay? Everybody has a different feeling about the subject and everybody gets a chance to say that. We go through the niggles, we write them down, we don't butt them, we don't negate them, we write down what they say. And then we do the same for the nuggets, so we start to build up some positivity about the present state. What's the good stuff that we want to retain so that we can bring it into the future? We don't want to let go of these things because we're so concerned about all these niggles. So when we have our niggles and our nuggets, again, I feel happy because um, 300 patients got their drugs today. Um, when we have the present state mapped, what we want to do is change our future. So essentially, we draw a line in the sand here and we say, it would be nice if patients didn't miss any doses today. That would make me feel that I did a really good job. Uh, and once you have your nice ifs mapped down here, you may want to um, list a few no-nos. Never agains would be another way of saying it. So never again will a patient suffer serious harm because they missed their beta blocker. Okay? And when we've done that, uh, it's a very light-hearted way of discussing things which people feel strongly about. Uh, and quite angry and frustrated about. It's actually very enjoyable and you get quite a few laughs when you do it. So when you've done that, you take your description of the problem, missed, missed beta blocker leading to serious harm, impact, 10, patient had a heart attack. Um, influence, maybe seven. Okay, so can't control everything around this, but I think we have a fair bit of control over this problem and that we can prevent it happening again. Incidents, happens once a month, so I'll give it a six. And then, I can't remember what I said there, uh, impact 10, influence uh, seven, incidence six, we multiply those out and that's 420, I think. List all your problems, okay? And then you have a cumulative score so you know what ones you want to attack first, you can rank them. And most importantly, look at your influence. So when we did this recently, we discovered the biggest problem was we weren't praising our people enough for the good work that they did. And our influence over that was 10. And we nailed that niggle within five minutes of the meeting ending. And it continues to be nailed. 